Hey guys, Michael from Cog Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to determine which bond is more polar. Very simply, the larger the electronegativity difference between the two atoms in the bond, the more polar that bond will be. Now let's take a look at some examples. I have the electronegativity values um, table of the values written right here. So we, in each of these cases, we're going to determine which of the, the bonds are more polar. The first one, HC bond versus CO and C bond. So let's take a look at H right here and C right here. So the difference is 0.4, and then the second is between C and CO, and that difference is 0.5. So since this C and CO has a greater electronegativity difference, it's going to be more polar. Next one, we have H and O versus H and H. Even just without looking at the table, we know that H and O is going to be more polar because H and H have the exact same electronegativity. So that means the difference is zero. Uh, you want to confirm 2.1 minus 2.1 versus 2.1 and 0.5, which is a difference of 0.4. Next one, HCl versus HF. So we have HCl and then HF. So HCl is 3 and 2.1. That's the difference of 0.9. And 2.1 and F, um, 2.1 and 4, that's the difference of 1.9. So HF, because it has a larger difference, it's going to be more polar. And the last one, CCl versus Cl and C, once again, when you have two elements that are exactly the same, that has a difference of electron negative value of difference of zero. So that's going to be nonpolar. So this one, because it has a difference greater than zero, it's going to be more polar. All right, let's take a look at another example. So we have to order the following bonds according to polarity. We have to rank them in terms of least polar to most polar. Uh, HH, OH, COH, SH, FH. Once again, we're just going to look at the electronegativity differences between the, these elements, and the larger the electronegativity difference, the more polar. Right off the bat, we know that HH is going to be the least polar because it has a difference of 0, 2.1, 2.1. O and H, so H is right here, O is right here. That's a difference of 3.5 minus 2.1 is 1.4. CL and H. H and CL, that difference is 0 0.9. S and H, that difference is 0.4. And then lastly, F and H, and that difference is 1.9. So then the, the next polar one is SH with a difference of 0.4. Then CL and H with a difference of 0.9 and then O and H with a difference of 1.4, and the last, the F of H, F and H with a difference of 1.9. So this is ranked in terms of least polar to most polar. That's really it. You just have to look at the electronegativity difference between the two atoms, and the larger the difference, the more polar it is. Of course, you might not always be given the values on your exam, so if that's the case, just go with the general guidelines. The farther the elements away for, are from each other, the more polar it will be. And remember, the trend in electronegativity is that it increases as you go up and increases as you go to the right. So if we were to take a look at HCl and, and HF, even if you didn't know the, the exact values, you know the F is more polar, more electronegative than CL, so that's why HF is going to be more polar than HCl. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.